We were evaluating the X47 for its ability to handle high power RF fields. When you go to the carrier, there's a whole bunch of different RF, HF, UHF, VHF, all the different frequencies and, and radar and, and other emitters. And we want to make sure that those don't have any impact on flying the X-47 and operating the X-47 in the carrier environment. The NERF stands for Naval Electromagnetic Radiation Facility. And the NERF is simply a collection of transmitters that are housed in trailers. We can cover the entire frequency spectrum from wh whatever you need. If you need a TV station or if you need a shipboard radar, we have the transmitters that cover the whole, the whole frequency band. So we turn on the aircraft, we're monitoring all the systems through all the instrumentation in the test trailer. We have an active command and control link with the aircraft. And Mike and his team blast the aircraft with all the different frequencies at all the different locations on the jet. And, and then we're monitoring to make sure we don't have any spurious inputs or anything changes or any faults or cautions or warnings that pop, pop up that would cause us to have to return home early. We're talking about um, transmitters that are out in the, um, in the flight environment, uh, both land and the ship. For instance, it would be like on the ship, would be a shipboard radar, maybe a satellite uh, communication system. On land, it might be a, an airport radar, a weather radar, a TV, an FM station, anything that, that is a transmitter that's producing RF field levels. The ground testing provides a safer way to do this testing and find all the interference problems and correct them prior to flight testing.